Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find a given number is an Adam number or not. First of all, let us understand what Adam number is. A number when reversed, the square of the number and the square of the reverse number should be numbers which are reverse of each other. Confused? Let's make it simpler. Say X is a number and reverse of X is Y. So we are going to reverse the number X and we are going to call that as Y and then we are going to evaluate x square and y square and finally we are going to verify if x square is reverse of y square if it is so then we are going to call x as an adam number some examples of adam numbers are 0 1 2 3 and so on let us pick a number from this list and see why you are calling that as an adam number let me pick up uh, some number like 12 here so my x is 12 so what is y y is reverse of x that is 21 and then i wanted to evaluate x square x square is 1 12 square that is 144 here and then y square y square is 441 21 square is 441 and finally wanted to verify if x square is reverse of y square what is reverse of y square y square is 441 so reverse of it is becomes one four four and it is exactly equal to x square so we can call here x as an atom number that is 12 is an atom number here now let us write a program for it let me create a new class we'll call it as atom number all right now let me create a new method here which actually checks whether a given number is an atom number or not the method will not return anything it just verifies if it is the provided number is an atom number or not and will print the same so i'm i'll be taking i'll be reading a number for it, for that and then to achieve this let's follow step by step how to uh, find a given number is an atom number or not so for that, what I'm going to do here is, let's follow this uh, step by step. So first of all, we are going to read a number. So first, the number is read here, and then the number is already, we have it in a variable called num, then reversing the number, let's do that. And to keep it for simplicity, I'll be using the same uh, variable names, which we used in the example. So the given number, let's call it as X and we wanted to calculate the reverse of the number. So reverse of the number, we wanted to put it in Y. So, and to reverse a number, I'll be creating a function. I'll be creating a method, which actually returns me the reverse of the given number. This, this method, we are going to create it later. Next, square the number. So that is X square. Let me call the variable is also x, x square and to calculate the x square i'll be creating uh, another method called square which returns me the square of the given number next square the reverse number so what is the reverse number y y is the reverse number and we wanted to find the square of it so y square equal to i'll be again calling the square method here which returns me the square of the given number and we wanted to evaluate square of y here and storing it in y square variable y square and finally we are going to verify if 3 is reverse of 4 that is if x square is reverse of y square let's write the condition here x square is reverse of so reverse method will return us the reverse of a given number of y square so if it is so then we can say that the given number is Adam number. So if it is not, then the given number is not Adam number. All right, now let us create the these methods to reverse a number and square a method, square a number. To reverse a number let's create a method so it, 
now let private static which returns as a integer and the method is reverse which takes a number and to reverse a number i'll be creating a variable reverse and then we'll be writing a logic here so first of all we are going to read the rightmost digit in the number for that i will be doing modulus on the number which gives me the rightmost digit in that number then we'll be writing a logic here which actually multiplies the given reverse number into 10 and then we'll add it the add the digit which we just you know extracted from the number and finally we are going to divide the number by 10 which gives us the number by leaving the rightmost digit in that number and this process we are going to continue till the number is greater than zero and this is the logic for reversing a number and for the detailed explanation of how to reverse a number you can actually look into the description below where i have provided a video link uh, where I, uh, I actually explained how to reverse a number now we wanted to reverse return this reverse number so let's do that return this reverse number done so this method actually returns a number which is passed to it so a number which is passed to this method it actually returns the reverse of that number we are done with that now we wanted to create a method for square square to how to find the square of a number so let's do that now static int square I'll just say return whatever number is passed to this method. We'll, we are just going to multiply that number to itself and going to return the result. That is what we mean by squaring of a number. All right, now we are done with the method or method definition and we are going to call this method from the main method, which actually takes one parameter number. And how are you going to get this number? This number you are going to read it from the console. And for that, I'll be creating a scanner, scanner class object. And then we'll read it in a variable, integer variable. We'll be calling the method called next int from the scanner class. And just for readability, we'll be printing a message here just to enter a number. To find if it is add a number or not all right now let us execute this it is showing some warning so it says it has we need to close this scanner object let's do that and let us execute this program now so i'll provide the same number 12 and it says it's, it's an add number so let me execute it again and from the list let's give some other number like 31 and it says it's an Adam number and let's give some non Adam number. So which is not here in this list. Let us give some 14 or 15. It says not Adam number. So this is how we can actually verify a given number is an Adam number or not. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.